All right, so I was trying to figure out the best way to, to go through this review, and what I decided to do is, is I pulled out a problem ba based on problem 25.1 in the book, and uh, so we're going to solve this, and it asks us to solve this initial value problem over the interval from t equals 0 to t equals 2, where y of 0 equals 1. So obviously, um, just point out here, because a lot of you got this wrong on the quiz, this is an initial value problem, and how would we do we know it's an initial value problem? Well, because they're giving us y of 0 equals 1. They're giving us the initial value, and that is the only value that, we're, uh, th that we need, and it's an initial value. So this is an initial value problem, and we're going to start at y of 0, and uh, we get dy dt equals yt cubed minus 1.5y. Okay, great. And we're supposed to solve it analytically using Euler's method, using Hoyne's method. So I, I found, looked up the, the pronunciation. So this guy's name was Karl Hoyne, which is a, a German name. And uh, so you say it Hoyne's method. So it rhymes with coin. So solve using Hoyne's method without iteration. Um, and we're going to use h equals 0.5 on all these. We're going to use the midpoint method, Ralston's method, and then go to fourth order runge cut a method. So uh, just to point out here, we're getting pretty good coverage of, of everything. This, all of these methods, Hoyne's, midpoint, Ralston's, uh, these are the second order, these are the second order uh, runge cut a methods. And then we're just going to go to a, a fourth order. Uh, order runge cutta and the thing is uh, I, I figure um, when we get to the fourth order runge cutta it's it's getting to the point where it's hard um, to have conceptually everything that's going on besides the fact that we're we're combining um, we're combining uh, um, uh, slope estimates uh, in a certain way but um, so I figure if you can do the fourth order wrench cut a method the third order is just um, uh, you know you, you could do that too so then we're gonna generate a plot of our results and and so I added some of this stuff we're gonna show the slope field the analytical solution and the solution for each part okay so that's the problem uh, that we're gonna get started on here 